Hello everyone, we are back with yet another weekly video of Illusion Training and Education. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to take an impression using a triple trick. Well, taking a dental impression is one of the most routine things for a dentist. These impressions are usually made using plastic or metal full arch stock trays. However, we can also use bite trays or dual arch trays for this purpose. These trays help us record the upper impression, the lower impression and the bite all in one go. And that is why they are also referred to as triple tray impression. Out of the hundreds of impressions that we receive every day at Illusion from the US and UK, 95% of the impressions are all triple tray impressions and the redo rate is very very low. This technique helps us save on a lot of time and material and is very comfortable to the patient. However, it is very technique sensitive and should be used correctly. It is important to check if your lab has these kind of articulators specially meant for the triple trays. Let's go and take a closer look at these triple trays. So I have two triple trays here, these are the plastic ones. I have two sizes, one of them is a small size and the other one is a medium. I use the medium ones most often because they serve the purpose mostly. The tray should be long enough to cover the distalmost tooth in the arch and it should be wide enough to accommodate all the teeth buccopalatally. Now this is the case where I have already prepared an upper 6 using the reverse preparation technique. I am now going to impress it using a triple tray single step impression. Firstly, I would just leave everything aside and just observe the patient's biting pattern. What I am trying to do here is I am trying to observe if the patient is giving me a reproducible bite every time. I also make it a point to observe the contacts on the side contralateral to the working side. This relation can also be marked if you feel. This relation will be our reference point once we have the patient close his mouth while taking the impression. The next step is to try in the tray into the patient's mouth. I will have the patient bite with the tray in his mouth just to make sure that he is biting correctly with the tray. I have already placed two cords around my preparation just like I do almost always. I will now remove the top cord and start injecting the light body around the preparation while my assistant loads the heavy body on the triple tray. I am now placing the triple tray with the heavy body inside the patient's mouth and I am going to ask the patient to bite. I will also check my reference point that I made note of during the initial phase so that I know that the patient has closed correctly. There it is, that's the impression. Again have a look at all that wash recording the tooth material beyond the margin. You can also make a correction impression which is a two step technique. For that I am first going to load some putty on the triple tray just like I did for the single step. I will ask the patient to bite down on it. You want this putty material to be as rigid as possible. So once this putty is set, I am going to take it out and now with some micro motor burrs, I am just going to scoop the margin and create some space for the wash. This will help me get a nice clean layer of wash around my preparation. Once it's done, I am going to syringe some wash around my preparation like before and I am also going to add some wash on the tray. I am now going to place the tray on the patient's lower teeth and ask the patient to bite. So this is how the impression looks after setting. When you hold the tray against light, you should be able to see through at the regions of occlusal contact. This means that your impression is perfect. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please write in your comments and questions at the email address flashing on your screen. Also let us know if you want us to feature a particular procedure in the upcoming episodes. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off until next week. Keep watching.